This is part two to a video from just a couple days ago. This was a $200 in total Funky Bop mystery box that was purchased back in May of this year. So out of the first two boxes, I got a top, the third best hit and the sixth best hit. So a little recap, I got out the $175 Hercules and I got out the $85 SSG Goku. And these two alone put me in the profit already. So first two boxes, I had a top, this is actually one of the top three hits in the entire 60 box run. So that is very exciting, right? So here's all the details. This was the Funky Bop overvalued mystery box sold back on March the 8th this year, about five months ago. It's overvalued too, you're guaranteed more than what you paid. It's, I think they made 60 total boxes, I think it was. And it says 50 bucks plus shipping, here's two more. So a total of four boxes, 50 piece, $200 mystery box. Each box is $55 and up. So you're guaranteed over value every single time. Five months ago, values could have changed. Two or three pops per box. Weight wise, I think it's like, it feels probably two in each box more than likely. And of course the top hits, I'll just read like the top like four best hits. The Rorschach bloody 480 piece SDCC, 750 bucks. That's the top hit, that's a big boy right there. The Snake Pliskin 1000 piece 2020 NYCC, 300 bucks. Nice hit also. The Freddy Funko as Marty McFly 1000 piece 2021 box fun exclusive worth 170. And then actually that's that's the fourth best one. And then the third best one, which I hit already, Freddy Funko as Hercules 1000 piece 2021 box of fun, $175. So with two boxes left, I have potential at the next or the top two hits, the Rose Shack and the Snake Pliskin. Will I hit them? With 60 total boxes, right now, I'm already killing the odds with the third best hit and the sixth best hit out of 60 boxes. I have two hits in the top six. Right now, actually, at the first two, we're at 285 in value. The box will cost you 200 bucks. So these two right here are guaranteed 55 at the day, day packaging. So we're looking at over a 400. It's, it, it's going to be over a double up here. I'm going to get over a double up, which I like that making that money, you know what I'm saying? Because all these pops will be available for sale in my whatnot marketplace. I don't know when they'll be for sale for sure, but I'm listing pops randomly in the whatnot marketplace for sale. There's a link down below in the description box. You can download whatnot, it's free to download, use my link, save 15 bucks your very first purchase. There are thousands of live auctions going on at all the time on whatnot in every category imaginable. So check it out, see what you can find to buy on the WhatNot app. These are upside down in here this time. There. I'm trying to do it so you can't see the side of the box, see what it is too early. They put a cover on top of each pop. That's how they do the boxes. Oh, is this the Chase? The Shining Jack Torrance, not the Chase, but we'll take it. The Red Rum. This is a super cool pop. I've been waiting for Jack to do a signing, a private sign now for years. Like we all have. We've been waiting. Maybe someday Jack will sit down and do a private sign. He's never done one. A lot of actors and actresses in Hollywood have never done private signings. He's one of them. Maybe someday. Here we go, pot number two. I know he's on a lot of people's autograph bucket lists. Oh, and the shot this has to be the chase then. It is nice. We have the shining comet and the shining chase. Of course, these are vaulted too. Both are in. Pretty solid condition. Nice. 2021. This is actually this is from the 2021 restock. Back when Funko started pu pumping out pops like crazy in 2021 due to the 2020 the 2020 hysteria. Let's see PPG values of these two pops. First pop, Jack Torrance, just the common for $15. Then the chase come in at $37. So plus 15, plus 37. Now we're looking at 337 after the third box. But two really nice pops right there. Be for sale on whatnot. Whenever you do buy from me, I try very hard to ship within one business day, two at the latest, but I strive for super fast shipping because I know once you buy something, you want to get it. You know what I'm saying? So buying from me, you know that it'll ship out usually within one business day on the rare occasion, two business days. If for some reason, like I'm totally swamped with like a whatnot auction or something. I do auction live four nights a week on whatnot, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Selling sports cards, doing sports card breaks. Check me out if you haven't already. It's a lot of fun. 
Here we go. Next pops. These are also upside down. Pop three. Hopefully this is going to be a good one. Batman. Which Batman is it? The Orange Chrome Batman. NYCC 2018. I think uh, Toy Tokyo is still selling this pop off to uh, companies in sealed cases still. Because you're still finding these in like absolutely box case fresh condition is toy tokyo they still have probably half warehouse full of a lot of their exclusive hits nice pop though but it's never really gone crazy value it used to be worth more last time i, I, I looked it up it was like 35 dollars pop but still it's a nice hit though it's a nice, it looks to be in fantastic shape because most all toy to tokyo pops are pretty much case fresh condition most of the time there you go vaulted vinyl is the protector on that one Beetlejuice. These pops are about to go up in value with the release of Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice coming out, what is it, September, October? You're going to see a lot of these pops go up in value now. 2020, it's probably vaulted. Walmart exclusive, Beetlejuice. Let's see BBG values. This one has really fallen in value. This is pretty much at retail. I think buying from Toy Tokyo off their website in 2018 i think they charged 20 bucks i think it was 20 bucks this is coming in now at only 19 dollars. if it was the actual con sticker from the convention it's worth 44 man but toy tokyo tends to slowly release fresh cases of their exclusive pops as time goes on because you'll see at least a couple years ago you see companies like chalice or chrono toys with a massive amount of like these and other toy tokyo exclusives in like case fresh condition <laughs> but it's their stock they can do with it what they want of course it keeps pops in good condition not dumping them onto the market at one time slowly releasing them onto the market helps keep some in case fresh condition so there is an upside to how they do their business and the beetlejuice come in at 50 bucks i bet this one goes up in value once the movie comes out or probably right before it comes out it'll probably shoot up shoot up value just a little bit but grand total, all four boxes, I spent 50 a piece. I spent a total of $200. After all four, came in at $406. Double up. Easy money right there. Easy money. And so all these pops, like I said, will be available in, in my whatnot. Most of these are very solid pop. Like, there's no junk here. These will sell pretty quickly. So check back on my whatnot a few times a week. See if I post any new pops for sale in the marketplace. And if I have... They're usually under market value. They go quickly. It might look like Pops never restock, but I do restock them. They just sell like that. So check back frequently. See what you might find for sale on my whatnot. See you next time.